All right, it's time to put 10.69.2.2 through a test of some hard situations that I've done in the past, and we will see if any of those situations work better this time around. So let's go ahead and get started. In this situation, we have a right-hand turn coming up where it is a stop. Cross traffic is doing 55 miles an hour. They do not stop. And FST has been difficult in figuring out when or how it needs to go. Let's see what it does in this situation. We have a signal. We are staying on the road, which is better than what it's done in the past. It has gone off in the dirt. You can see we have a creep line and it is gonna go and it is going Probably I would not have gone. I had to give it some gas because someone's coming up behind me way too quick. Um, I can't tell if that was a good decision or not on the part of this car. Um, I probably would have waited. Um, probably wouldn't have gone in that situation. But uh, it did go and you know it, it kind of got the job done. Um, whether it was the right decision or not, hard to tell. So let's go on to the next one. In this next situation, we have two roundabouts. Two completely different roundabouts here. The first one I will call a small curb base roundabout, much tighter, followed by a more traditional roundabout that's got a big cornstalk sculpture in the center of it. So let's go straight through this particular roundabout and see what happens. Looks like we might have some traffic. We've got a slowdown signal and we're creeping through and I'm sure people are looking at me funny and it technically made it I didn't hit a curb it wasn't jittery 10.69 is supposed to have spent a lot of time focusing on improving roundabouts is that an improvement um, from a smoothness standpoint I would say yes but it was still way too slow and it was still way too hesitant in my book to call that a successful roundabout. Let's see what it does with more of a traditional large roundabout coming right up here. Here's our cornstalk roundabout. We are planning on going straight through this roundabout. This time it didn't, it paused, it yielded. It is signaling and it went through. That was a good job. I would call that a success. So that roundabout, I would say compared to past versions, much improved. Let's go through that roundabout again in the opposite direction and see if we have a similar result. Still a good slowdown yield, a little bit of hesitation. Not quite sure what it wants to do. Came through, whoa. <laughs> that was actually quite a bit of a different result. It was a bit jittery, wasn't sure what path it needed to follow. Um, I'll need to watch the video back to see if the brains of the system thought it was going to try to do something different. That was slightly different and not quite as good. Coming up on that small roundabout again, going back through in the opposite direction, let's see if we get a different result than the first time. We are slowing down. We're signaling to the left. We are yielding, in my opinion, way too far back. Car is not looking to go. I'm gonna go. I had to break out. I'll call that an intervention. It clearly should have gone based on right away, but uh, it did not in my opinion. So still having difficulties with that particular roundabout, the small roundabouts. The big ones seems to be, more traditional ones seem to be more or less okay. Now, one thing that FSD has struggled from day one has been with road construction. And we have a whole bunch of it going on right here and I'm literally gonna see what it can do. It's coming to a stop with a cone in the center and it doesn't know how to handle that. And I can see why, because we've got a lane right here in the center of the line and it just,
just doesn't know what to do. In fact, if I turn on FSD now, um, it is staying in the lane, but construction still throws it off. Heck, it throws uh, a lot of humans off as well. And it is kind of a, a bit of a, I don't know, an FSD roulette as, to, as far as what you're gonna get when you run into road construction. Getting a lot of phantom brakes, getting a lot of hesitation, getting a lot of jerkiness in the wheel. Generally, road construction is something that you probably today don't want FSD handling for you. In this situation, we're going to turn left on a center turn lane. And first versions of the beta, it could not handle this center turn lane at all. Let's see what it does with 69. I haven't covered this before in another video, but it is seeing the center turn line. You can see our landing strip here in blue. Um, it's sitting on and it is making the turn into where I'm gonna grab lunch nice and smooth. Although once it gets into this area, it really struggles with trying to figure out where to go and how fast to go. But getting into the parking lot frontage road region worked out exceptionally well with this version. In this situation, which I call the Thelma and Louise situation is I need to go straight that way. You can see that according to Google Maps, it actually doesn't follow with what the navigation says it needs to follow. And there's actually a drop off right here. It's not really a road. Um, and in the past, it has wanted to rocket over the top of this, hence the name Thelma Louise. But then it also doesn't see the barricade at the end. The last version, it saw the barricade and then moved. Let's see if it reacts any differently this time. So engaging, here we go. I will likely need to take over and use the brake, but I'm gonna let it do its thing. We are accelerating. Okay, <laughs> again, it wanted to rock it right off of there. I wasn't gonna let it do that. Re-engaging again, let's see if it handles the end of this road any better before it went into the gravel, which is better than going into the barricade. Ah! That time, I have to say, that was an improvement. So, so far in that situation, 50% improved. Um, so, let's see what's next. In this next situation, we have a left-hand turn at a stop. What makes this a difficult situation is, is the cross traffic does not stop, and the view in both directions, given the buildings and some trees, isn't the best. And it has never dealt with this situation very well. Um, we're gonna see if this new creep wall in 10.69 uh, will give me a little bit better understanding of what it's thinking. So let's see what it does in this situation. Um, will it be better, will it not? We are stopping short of the line. We are creeping forward. There's no creep line. It is going and the left turn was smooth, but without seeing the creep wall, it kind of kind of made me think that it went just out of blind faith. I don't know if it really thought it could make it in front of that semi or if it even saw the semi. So was that better? I guess technically it was better. Was it better on accident? I don't know. So there you have it, 10.69.2.2, put through some harder situations because generally the basic driving, it does a pretty darn good job most of the time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, even better, hit that subscribe button. And until our next video, safe driving.